Welcome to the Veterans Gaming Podcast. My name is Kevin, and this tonight is going to be episode 15 of my Football Manager 24 Career Mode, Manager Career Mode, as the manager of Oldham United. It was getting close to me getting fired right around here, right around October the 21st, but I managed to pull off a miracle draw against uh, Rochdale in the last minute, in the last, basically the last kick of the match. I was able to save myself there. I was able to beat uh, AFC File 2-1, to one, and that was a televised game uh, as well. And I was able to, I got about 200, 200,000, 2,000, I guess, for that. Then I was I drew against Altrincham, a game that I was about to lose, but I scored in the last minute to tie it, just same way as in the, in the Rochdale game, except we were home. Uh, we lost in the FA Cup to Bristol Rovers, but that was expected. We are a Vanarama team side, uh, excuse me, a Vanarama National League side. Uh, they are a League One side, so obviously they were going to be they were uh, levels ahead of us, and they showed it. With that being said, I think I saved my job especially on this match right here against East League on my birthday. Against East League, the team that I had a, uh, an original career mode with that I got fired from. So I beat them 2-1. to one. Then I uh, hang on, beat Woking. I tied against Barnett in a tough match. And then I dominated Epps Fleet 2-0. Uh, to nothing. So now we're going to go against Borham Wood, who will sit 20th in the league. And quite frankly, this is a match we should win. So let's go to the e emails. Richard Hill. Uh, fired by East League, unfortunately, so they fired me, and now they fired, now they fired him. Uh, that's how it goes. Okay, here we go. A display of uh, oh, Devon Green. Now that he's healthy, he is making things happen, no question. Uh, display of attacking football. Saw Devon Green pick up the player of the match award during Oldham's two nothing Van Arama National League victory over Epps Fleet this afternoon. The right winger netted the best goal of the game to round off his performance by providing a perfect finish to an excellent team move by scoring a placed shot from close range. Green was a constant threat as his indirect running and trickery with the ball caused havoc in the Epps fleet defense. Green has produced 36 dribbles and 11 key passes in 10 appearances for Oldham this season. I was ready to give up on him because he, he was hurt quite a bit, but now that he's healthy, this dude right here, look at the fitness, 18. Agility, acceleration, pace, uh, mental, not so much, but technical, dribbling, uh, good finishing, and he's got technique. If only we can get some of the mental part going, uh, it'd be much better. But right now, Devon Green is absolutely producing. Uh, there was a cracker of a game. Uh, Maidenhead beat York 5-2. to two. Uh, Player of the week for Maidenhead is going to be this man right here. Jaden Mitchell Lawson, uh, 24 years old, attacking midfield. I'm going to scout him and see if uh, he's anybody that I might want to consider on our team in the future. All right, let's go to the emails. Let's see. Tisdale, Paul Tisdale, the coach of uh, Epps Fleet. He admires Green's talents. Let's focus on Devon Green. Uh, BBC Radio Manchester chose the main focus point of the conference with journalist Jan Parkinson asking, you can't have faced many better opposition performances than DeVar Green's. Tisdale replied, I wish he'd save that performance for next week. He was brilliant. Green wasted no time in joining the story. It's a dream to receive praise from such an amazing coach. So thank you to Tisdale. All right. Let's go to the next email. Green showed delights Ramos um, in the press conference that I had. BBC Radio Kent chose the main focus as, as the same. How would you assess Devon Green's efforts out there today? And I replied, he's quality, and I think everybody knows that. And he has shown his quality. No question about it. Like I said, I was getting, I was ready to release him, but I'm glad I did. Okay, so we've got a couple of emails here. We got uh, Hogan drops contract terminate after speaking with Liam Hogan. I believe that he is no longer unhappy at the attempt to terminate his contract. He has had a change of heart, and the matter can be forgotten. Okay. Okay, good. That's good to know. Let's see what this says. He could do with individual passing training to help improve some minor vision, passing, and technique weaknesses. Let's do that. So I'm glad he's no longer unhappy. 
we should be very happy with the result. We outplayed the opposition, and the score reflects the quality we showed. 284XG, 065, 065XG. We deserve it. We were way better than Apps Fleet. No doubt. Let's continue. Let's go ahead and get ready for uh, Borham. Borham Wood. So the tactical preparation is going to be as follows. Uh, we're going to study uh, how they react after turnovers, which is the transition phase. Uh, we're also going to attack the free kicks. We're going to assess any vulnerabilities the opposition have when defending free kicks and plan to exploit them. And as far as throw-ins, examine ways the team can more consistently retain the ball from throw-in situations. Also include preparation for attacking for defensive long throws when appropriate. All right, <clears throat> let's go. Uh, this is the training I have planned for the next two weeks. So after Borham Wood, we've got a we've got a few days of rest. So I'm like I'm liking that. All right. So I'm not gonna make any changes to the training calendar. The familiarity with the four two three one is is getting to be a lot more positive as well. So let's continue. Okay, let's we've got three emails. Man City starting to run away with the Premier League and Real Madrid with a one point lead over Atletico Bilbao and Barcelona in La Liga inbox. Uh, selection advice. Okay, so we're going to have a new midfield, new central midfield, Kitching and Sutton and Raglan, familiar with the tactical approach. Uh, Mark Shelton has performed well in training. And Hallam Hope is back from injury. So let, let's see. And uh, James Norwood's improved in this game. All right. I like that. Okay, looks like there's some more changes here. Okay. So Sutton and Raglan. Oldham would, excuse me, Oldham have been touted as comfortable favorites, but we'll have to be worried about complacency when taking on Borham Wood, according to Planet Football. Oldham have been disappointing in the Van Arama National League so far this season and find themselves in eighth place. Oldham could move into a playoff place with a win, and that's what I'm looking for. Despite preseason hopes of top half finish in the league, Borham Wood currently find themselves in 20th place in the Varamanama in the Vanarama National Table, Bormwood have drawn four of their last five away games. A defeat for Bormwood could see them slide into the relegation zone. So let's go ahead and make that happen. Who is their uh, who's their coach? Rob Jones. Okay. Well, he's a pretty decent coach. Unfortunately, things are not working out. Their captain, uh, Jack Payne. 31 years old, defensive midfielder, central midfielder, excuse me. Their vice captain, Nathan Ashmore, who's their goalkeeper, uh, 33 years old, great communicator. Uh, he's six foot two. He's got quite a good, quite a good set of skills there. So, but unfortunately, things aren't going well for them. Uh, Pre-match press conference. This, this journalist is now awestruck by me, okay? Uh, Amila Price, everybody else has great respect. So uh, with these wins that we've been having as of late, we're getting a lot more respect from the media. And that's kind of, that's obviously helping me as far as keeping my job. So, so let's kick it off. Amila Price, despite preseason hopes of a top half finish in the league, Borham would currently find themselves in 20th place in the Vararama National Table. Will you be looking to pile on the agony for Borham Wood even more? If we play our game and everybody does their job, we should win. No question. Is it a case of asking the team to play the way they played against Epsilon? Uh Those performances give us the confidence to carry forward and do even better next time. So that's what I'm hoping for. How much of this good streak has been due to the positive atmosphere among the club? Uh, we're having fun right now, and that's the best way to work. A happy club is a successful club. 
Uh, Lola Fizzi, you must worry that any loss will have a calamitous effect on player confidence. I don't think one loss can destroy uh, this team's confidence. They're a close-knit bunch. Will Hallam hope be available against Borum Wood? We're hoping to have him available for the match. That's it. Okay, the press conference went fine. Okay. <clears throat> so we're, uh, I'm maintaining the team spirit. But um, I really don't see us losing to Borum Wood or a draw. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna go out there and we're gonna dominate. Uh, the opposition. Uh, Chris Bush is performing well as far as the defending, and Ag Agbon Tahoma as well. Uh, Lee and Doobie, and uh, Cameron Cox. So uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so Jordan Windus. The 23-year-old fullback saw red. Uh, he might not have the required ability or potential. Okay. And I can't put him on the under-18 squad. Okay, let's go to the weekly staff meeting. They always, these are tremendous, very helpful. So let's go. Josh Lundstrom could do with individual strength training to help him improve some minor strength. And jumping weaknesses. Okay, let's let's do that. Brent Dickerson really struggles with corner taking and techniques. So an individual corner taking program will be helpful to try to improve things. Let's do that. I would recommend individual agility and balance training for Kieran Freeman to work on those attributes. Let's give that a shot as well. I would recommend ending Devar Green's individual endurance training. Uh, it doesn't hasn't worked. Okay. I'm disappointed to report that Hallam Hope's development has been hampered by injury, but hopefully it won't affect him too badly. I agree. Joe Nuttall has unfortunately has suffered a setback in his development, but he's not really affected. Okay. Matthew Hudson's important has diminished a little of late, and because he's not playing as regularly as before, he's not just another player in the squad. Brent Dickerson is Dickinson is now highly influential. All right. The way Ryan Glover has been developing, it looks like he could become a key player for us and become better than Devarn Green. Okay. This. See, our man is nice. Nice. He's been nice so far. Let's end the meeting there. Let's continue. <clears throat> okay, these are just a, a look at some of the leagues or, uh, around the world. Celtic and Rangers tied in Scotland. No surprise there. Late Orient ahead in League One. Bayern blowing by everybody in the uh, Bundesliga. All right. Uh, Charlie Raglan has seen a bruised knee. Uh, let's just go with the physio. So he, he won't play. Oh, Kilner too. Tight hamstring. He'll be out for two or three days, too. Shoot. Okay, that hurts, but we'll have plenty of rest after this game, and we should be able to still, with, even with that, we should be able to beat Borum Wood. Excuse me. Having having said that, it is, uh, it, is, um, it is unfortunate. All right. Let's look at the email. Uh, same thing, Luke Molyneux, uh, recruitment focus, nothing's changed. Okay, we're basically the main event. I don't know why, but whatever. And the board and the fans are expecting a win, so let's go out there and give them that. <clears throat> we will receive around $6,000 for the match. Okay, so Charlie Raglan should be fine. So should Reed and Kilner. All right, that's... And Glover... Uh, 75 minutes, 45 for Lundstrom. Okay, 75 for Hope. All right, fair enough. So I can start them. Okay, let's do the changes here. Uh, I think I should start Gardner. I recommend that for our upcoming match against Borum Wood, we should play with a balanced mentality. Agree with that. They just play a 4-4-2. We need to press Jack Payne, who is right here. He's one of their stars. 
and also we should uh, mark uh, Lee Nadal. Let's go. And I'm I am going to start Gardner this time. So Green, Glover, Norwood. Raglan is injured, so I'm not going to take any chances getting him hurt any more than what he needs to sell. Oh, there's something wrong here. No, 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 no. Um, let's see, Sharon. Okay. Um, okay. Hudson, where's Dickinson at? Dickinson, who are you? Oh, got a decision to make here. Mm. Mm. Hobson isn't much better in that position. So let me put Kilmer in. <laughs> he didn't want her. You got Ryan Spencer. Nice little prospect, but let's go with this. Okay. Sutton. Okay, we'll be fine. Let's go. Okay, so some people don't agree with the roster, but whatever. Let's go. Like I said, we should be able to win this match. Hogan starting what? Glad to see Obi starting fits the team like a glove. All right, let's go back to the dressing room. Let's, let's keep that going. Hope we make a difference. Let's go to preview. <clears throat> let's make it happen. You've won three out of our last four. Let's let's keep it going here against Borum Wood. The crowd, uh, a little more of a crowd this time. So let's let's go. Let's make the home fans proud today. <clears throat> if we can win, we we be in the playoff uh, bracket. All right, Kitchen. Good good pass, Glover. Obi. All right. Let's go, Bor Let's go, Oldham. Okay, throw in by Borum Wood. Gould. Are oh, you kidding me, Charles Clayton? Where was the defense? Who was at twenty four? Kilner, dude. I mean, Norman should have saved it, but still. Kitchen. Get it back. Oh, good pass to Glover. How did you miss that, dude? 
better kidding me. Come on. Oh, look at that. Gardner. Gardner loses it. Clayton. A little bit. Ooh, save there. Clayton. The goal scorer. Oh, he's killing us out here. What the heck's going on? Oh, what it what the fuck? We're down two to nothing. Fuck is this? Gardner. Shelton Kilner. Shit performance. Glover. Lundstrom. Glover. Hogan. Lundstrom. <clears throat> Oh, good pass. Glover, Lundstrom, Kitching, Shelton. Come on. Ashmore. Green. Come on, wake us up, Devarn. All right, cross it. Shelton. Well, so Gardner. Oh. oh. That's just what we would have needed right there. Wow. Incredible. Kitchen. Right. Glover. To Green, Lundstrom, to Norman, Kilner, Obi, Hogan, Shelton. No. Lulu, Robinson, Sosa. This is what is this? Okay. God, I got fired up here. What's going on? What a disgraceful first half. Corner. Come on, let's get one back before the half. Shelton. Corner. Lover, good job. To Devon Green, cross it. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Shelton. No. Disgusting first half. Shot him, free kick. Okay, dressing. Oh, I'm pissed. Okay, thank you. Let's, let's get fired up here. Come on. Norwood to Devon Green. Oh, that's a penalty. Yeah, he clattered him, right? Come on, let's get let's go on back. Gardner. Okay. That's his first goal of the season. Well taken penalty.
Okay, corner for Borum Wood. Clayton. Oh, Devon Green. He's got a one on one here. Okay. Press Cameron Cox. Oh, he lost it. Okay. Sosa loses it. Glover. Norwood. Pass it. Oh, dumbass. Oh, Green. Oh. Oh, almost tied it. Clayton. Okay, good job, Norman. All right. Well, we got 30 minutes here. Hey, that was a terrible goal kick. Gold. You've got to be shitting me. Was that Kilner? Cross. Kitching. Oh. Save. Wow, this is embarrassing. Put Alex Reed in. Norwood, you will have enough shit. Okay, I'm stuck with him. Okay, read. One strong, go. Dickinson, one strong. Gardner, oh, nice pass, Kitching. Read, no. Dickinson. Javon Green. Oh, boy. Kitching. Lundstrom. Kitching. Gardner. Raglan. Who was that? Lundstrom. Obi. Kitching. Obi. What the fuck? Wow, this is this is brutal. Kitching. Come on, we got a couple of goals here. This Giga Reed. You know who he's going to? Oh, you should have got closer, dude. Okay, we got 10 minutes here. Shelton. Oh my God, the finishing has been awful. Awful finishing. What an embarrassing loss at home. This is shit. Five minutes of injury time. <sighs> Quick. 
Connor Dickinson. Absolutely disgraceful. This is going to be an ugly press conference. Yeah, we were totally empathetic. That, that's pretty much a stinker. Yeah, I was, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. David Ferguson, let's go to the press conference. Boy, I'm, I'm hot. I'm hot. Let's go. Altering your approach. No. Does it feel as just you must be angry? Hell yeah. You said dominant sixty nine percent possession and stunk it up. We weren't clinical. Hmm. Okay, we've got our next our next game isn't for another eleven days. And that's gonna be in the uh, FA uh the FA trophy, so it's going to be a minute here. Yeah, just pissed off. And we're only one, one point away from a playoff spot. Okay, so this is going to be the English FA Trophy. Yeah, we, we have more chances than them. Okay, Hallam Hope resumes full training, which is good. Okay, we're going into December now. Okay, Harley Beckham is officially a professional. But he's got a he's got a ways to go. <clears throat> you know, I'm not fired up about this uh FA trophy, but we gotta we gotta play the match, so monthly financial update. Okay, we're okay. Best attacking player. Uh, yeah, they got important dates in December. Oh, Oh boy, we've got a we've got the top dogs solid hold more move away. Whew. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's look at the emails. Monthly board performance. Everything is a C. The B minus. So tactics. A C minus. So it is getting a bit better. Squad dynamics. Charlie Raglan, obviously, the leadership support is good. Locker room atmosphere. So it's getting better. Ryan Spencer had good training. Let's continue. Okay. Right. Mugahi finally after forever. Okay, individual training for him. Let's do some positional training. 
And let's see if we can get any kind of production out of him. Central defender. He can be defensive midfielder as well. Okay, that's just some more emails, competition review. Man, look, now we we dropped to ninth, but still one one place out of out of a playoff slot. So that is kind of the good news. We should have we should take advantage of that match though. Oxford City. Player of the week, Enzo Bolgeman from East League. Alfie Atherton has uh he's made he's made progress. Uh let's end the individual training because it's not working. That should help him out. The training is as follows. Let's continue. Weekly staff meeting. So let's go. Uh, let's do the agility training for him. Lewis Lowe's Rhodes struggles with long throws, which I'm not going to do the long throws. But passing training for the vision for Jesse Williams. Definitely. Let's move on. Okay. Ryan Glover's playing well. He is. He is playing well. You're very personal, HS Hope. We got positive relationships. Okay. So the atmosphere in the locker room is getting better. I'll say that. Oh, that that Warren Wood match that pissed me off. Scouting update. Jordan Williams. He'd be a nah, I don't I don't think I'll be signing him. Recruitment's focus, nothing. All right. Continue. Let's see. So, uh, Marcus Bignot is the new coach of East League. So, he's taking that hot seat to keep on. Oh, Ryan Glover's injured shit. Oldham injury update. Uh, not all has a broken jaw. We got some smaller, small injuries. We should be fine as far as this high risk by the time game starts. Yeah, he's not staying. So Brian Glover, bruised ankle, it's only one or two days. So that's fine. Let's go. Just some more competition review emails, which I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read. I don't know how to get it, get to my match here. Barnett and Dagon Red had a good one, one one player of the week. General John Lewis for York, who dominated Dorking. I don't want to talk about that, dude. It's like every time Obi comes on the. Gets on the pitch, we don't, we don't play well. All right. Uh, that's the preparation, transition phase, attacking corners, and defending free kicks. Okay, it's almost time. This is the recommended team. Yeah, let's just suggest a squad. Fine. Uh, we're favorites. Under 18 stuff right here. Henry Chapman for. Uh, from Bradford City, 26 years old. Be a great signing, but. They're going to cost us too much money. Okay, Amaka Obi had some good. Ooh, he had great training. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start him for sure. 
he had a 9.15 in training. Oof. That's 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 high end stuff. The expectation is to beat these guys who are like a a tier lower than us. Okay, this is the under 18 team who destroyed Acklington's under 18. We're first. Everybody had a good performance. Reese Leonard. A decent young prospect. Sam Davidson. Exciting prospect, but not ready. He's not ready a move, but he will be Caden Morrow. Kind of like him. Kind of like him, too. I don't know who Callum Thompson is. And this Ross Cunningham, I can't find out who that. I can never find out who that is either. Uh, Connor Withers, decent young prospect. 5'11". Lincoln Green. Lincoln Green's doing good. Connor, they both play, play, play the same position. And Daniel Ephraim, DC young prospect. So we got some, we got some decent ones. Okay, fitness test. Raglan is good to go. So is Kilner. So is Glover, and so is Hallam Hope. So, but I, I don't think Hope should play. Uh, let's go with a. Uh, Cyril or Cyril Meehan right here, the defensive midfielder. So let's press him. Let's do a positive uh, attack. Okay, so Lincoln Green's ineligible. Let's put my gate here. Put my gay he as a as the oh, oh, oh. put my gay he as a defensive midfielder, at least for a half. Uh, I don't want to play Raglan out there. Let's see something here. No. I don't want I don't want to play hops in there. Where's Kilner? Talk on it. Where's Kilner? Come on, killer. No, let's keep up. Uh, I'm gonna keep Langley. Start him. I don't want to start where I go. Where's Hogan? Put Hogan in. All right, let's do that. Okay, let's go with this. Glover. Yeah. Okay. Submit the number. Okay. I'm not, you know, tripping about this match. I just want to get it over with. Let's 
Let's go. All right. We're going at Curzon Ashton. Don't know anything about him. But I need to make up for that loss in the league. <laughs> what a frustrating loss that was. And we're off. 10 is old. Bannon. Oh, almost stolen there. Cabea. <clears throat> okay, Langley in his debut. All right. Go. Allen. Okay, 12 minutes in. Bannon. Capella. Remain. Kagame. Oh, almost. Good play by Freeman. Okay, good energy so far. Corner. Glover. Oh, more than that. Atherton. Oh. Yarny, oh boy, Allen. Me him. Well, good save by Langley. It's a corner. Corner for Curzon. Mahone. Cues. Good job. Good defending. Mehan. Tobea. Mehan. Molino. Magehi. All right. Good clearance. Good clearance. So, Alfredson. Let's switch that. Okay. Blindly. Dolby. Freeman. McGahey. Sharon. Toronto uh took Kagame off the post. Okay. Okay, let's try that. Okay, we're headed to halftime. Nothing exciting. Okay, no real motivation. Kilner, Hogan, McGahee, Sharon, Atherton. Oh, almost a McGahee. 
Kilner, Saran, Obi. Langley. Let's go. Maha. I like Glover. They're all good. That's some good pressure also by the uh, left winger. Glover. Oh, good save. Sharon. Oh. Okay. More expressive here. Hughes with the free kick for Curzon. Good save. Good save. Let's fire it up, y'all. Hughes, short corner to Mahan. Good job, Obi. And that's out. Yeah, this team looks unmotivated. All right. I think we're going to the 70th minute here. Good job. Good job, Kilner. To Jolly. Oh, should have been full more forward. My guy, he. Freeman, he's got space. To Glover, who's got space as well. Glover cuts inside to Sharon. Ooh, almost. Get fired up to win this game. Almost 75 minutes in. Nothing going on here. Throw in. Uh oh. Oh, good save. Oh, that's goal kick. Never mind. Hasketh. Kagami. Okay, let's go. Okay, he. What are you doing? Atherton. Cross. Okay. Freeman. Oh, he got in the way. Oh, shit. Okay. Rolling. Okay. It's going to penalties. Okay, Glover. Oops. Okay, got one. Let's see what a uh, Curzon does here. Mahon. One one in the penalty shootout. Well, at least we don't have to worry about the extra 90 minutes, so. Jolly. Saved. Yarny. Wow, I'm telling you, we can't buy, can't buy a goal here. Saved by Langley. Okay, I'm happy about that. Next, Hogan. Good. Hughes. For Curzon. Come on, Langley. Right down the middle. 2-2 two, two in the penalty shootout. Dickinson.
Good job. Right, Shuttleworth Langley, make a save. Tank 3-3. Sharon, let's go. Oh, my God, really? Ridiculous. Alec. So we're out. Charlie Jolly did absolutely nothing as the striker. We've got a match with Solid Hole Moors. Okay. So we're up. We're uh, we're done with that. Yeah, he got a shout out, kind of. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, Solid Hole Moors match. They're leading the league. Best team in the league, obviously. Sean Hobson, a central defender. I'm happy with training. Okay. Let's continue. I think I should play him with Raglan. Okay, in the next match, here's the schedule. All right, Brown fired by Kidderminster. What are, where are they at in the standings? Yeah, they're second to bottom. All right. Okay, let's look at a weekly staff meeting. Sean Hobson game. If we just if we we're going from taking shots from the long range. Okay. Oliver Kilner has has developed. That is true. We need to play close attention to Pepe Lope Orient. He's been training well. All right. Uh, Harley Beckham is doing well in training as well. Let's end the meeting. We've got a big one against Sully Hole Moors, the league leaders. Got five days for that match. Brad Williams, no, he's not coming. Oh my God, this the superb signing right here. Breakthrough prospect. Offer. I've got to get this guy. Scouting update. Ryan Berg. I'm going to say no to that for now. For now. Recruitment focus. So did we uh Okay. We made a transfer offer. I want to get that Matthias kid, man. He's really good. He'd make a world of difference. So when is he uh I don't know when he's supposed to return. A decent young prospect, acceleration, agility, but not a lot of stamina. Okay, Ryan Spencer has improved. Something Chuk Wugbo, eligible for a professional contract. He's way off first team level. He's only 5'7". Uh, 
I don't think I should because of that height. Let's continue. Epps Fleet, they dropped to 21st place. Borum Wood is above them. All right, let's continue. We have a trophy, we're out of that, so. Okay, no emails, let's continue. I hope we don't get blown out. I'm, I'm worried we might get blown out by Solly Wood, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. Okay, the strikers are good. Okay, this is like the youth intake. Let's submit an offer. Okay, whatever that means. This guy's really good. Look at all those numbers, man. Yeah, he's a breakthrough prospect, dude. I'm cool. I'm gonna hand it over to Robertson. Unable to agree the terms. Okay, I'm gonna have to walk away from now. For now. But yeah, he got. I'm gonna keep him on the short list though. Okay, let's continue. Okay, that's the FA Cup review. We're out of that competition, so that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. That's that's true, Lundstrom. So, let's end the meeting there. All right. Let's get this going here. Yates, Mark Yates. They're reunited with him, but. I guess. Oh, he was uh, with them in 07. Fine. I'm gonna transit. We're going to worry about transition phase, attacking corners, and defending free kicks against the top the top team in the league. Man, I'm nervous. Oh, Obi's not playing, dude. Obi's not going to play. Sorry. This is the suggested squad. Uh, the rest of it is fine, but Obi's not playing in this match, dude. Let's see. Let's go with a pretty much. Oh, it's away, so I'll send the assistant for the press conference. And we're going to their building. And not all. Nuttall has a resume full training. And uh, Oldham, okay, uh, Oldham player has not returned. Kofi Moore, I ain't worried about that. Weekend training, Ryan Spencer. And Mac always play well, but I just don't. I don't have any faith in him. I'm just being honest. Okay, here we go. Dorking and Woking. Woking is eighth. Dorking is last. I don't understand that, but whatever. Fitness tests. Harrison McGee, 45 minutes of action. Okay. Let's go with the tactical meeting. Let's do that. They play a 3 4 3, basically. Let's see. We should have a balanced attack. We got a Mark Hassan Ayadi right here, the left midfielder, and and Jack Stevens as well. Let's 
sort of defensive duties out of possession. Let's go with a standard defensive line. Let's go to team so oh no, okay, team selection. Okay. Yes, Hobson and Raglan. Freeman Kitchen. I like the rest of this team except for uh, except for Gardner. Oh, here we go. Ryan Glover. We're gonna put him in the middle. Okay, where's the where the heck? Yeah, where the heck is how long ago? Let's see, Alfie. Sharon Move a Sharon back in. Okay, keep one strong. Okay, let's go with this. I'm gonna start Norwood. But he fucks up. Green is coming in. Okay, everybody looks pleased. Let's go to the match. Well, I'm glad everybody's pleased, but let's go out there and win. Green is starting today. I think this is our best team. Oh, come on, man. This shit never works. Okay, let's just win this match. Not against the top team in the league in their house. They've been running away with it. Mm -hmm. Our goal differential is not much either. We just don't score enough. Under the defending is that maybe an issue. Ayati, good, good job, Glover. Thompson, Raglan. All right. Let's fire this team up because we need a. <sighs> My goodness. Come on, y'all. Barrett to Craig. Bar okay, Norwood, thank you. Osborne. Craig. Home. Warburton. Oh, fuck. Shit. He had to come out because the defender was beat. It's not on him. Osborne, Craig. Home. Caprani. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Good save. Okay, kitchen. Kitchen. Here we go. Shotland. Oh, fuck. Osborne.
Okay, 25 minutes in. Sharon. Ah, this is awful. Are you kidding? Oh, thank God he missed. Oh, he's offside. Okay. Fire your ass up. Norwood ain't doing shit. Jeez. No, he really has to have a chance. Ben, home. No. This motherfucker's killing us, man. Greg, I'm gonna sit your ass down. I'm done. Okay. Come on, you gotta fuck. You guys just don't want this. Warburton. Hobson. Glover. Norwood. Kitchen. Cross it, dude. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Devon Green. The keeper completely missed it. Yeah, he's the keeper's got to take blame for that goal. And Green there. All right, Hayes, that's on him. Okay. Okay, we got some momentum going in the half. Come on. Can we get some before halftime? No. Okay, we can. We can do better. Yeah, that's why we get your act together, y'all. Okay. Dickinson, kitchen, kitchen, man, heck of, come on, heck of a play for us. Hobson, kitchen, ugly cross there. Obi, okay. Warburton to Ben. Warburton. Okay, that's out. Yeah, they're playing really well. Hall, corner. It's over. Let's go. Oh, front of corner. Home. Good job. Oh, oof, off the post. Kitchen clears it to home. Oh, Tavarn had the steal. Caprani. Okay, that's out. Oh my goodness, we're not catching anything here. Clark. Barrett, Osborne. Norwood out there looking just disinterested. Kelly Caprani.
We need hope. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Can we salvage a draw here? Okay, here we go. Glover. OB. Come on, get it. There you go. All right. Let's try that. Okay, Javon Green. To Kitching. Okay, corner. All right. You got hope now. Shelton. Carl, we got another corner coming. Good. Kitching. Free kick. Freeman, free kick. Okay, corner. Come on, let's go. Kitching. Oh. Kitching. Yes, sir, Ryan Glover. We have tied it up. All right. We've got a chance to steal this. Shelton. Oh, look at that. Glover. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And we are tied. We are tied. Good job. Great job. No. Why are y'all upset? I'm praising you from, for coming back from 2 nothing down. Glover. Kitching. Hobson. Sharon. Hobson. Kitching. Hobson. Long cross. Nope. Got to be better. Hayes. Glover. Shout. Reed. Devon. Oh, he's by himself, though. Sharon. No. Good block. All right. 13 minutes left. Sully Wars will make a substitution. Kitching. Come on. Okay, Hayes. Okay, oh boy. Reynolds. Oh shit. The fuck. Fuck. That hit one of our players too. Oh my god. Oh, and it went right to Capriani. Fuck. Come on, guys. Oh, running out of fucking time. Go kick. Fuck. Okay. Sharon Hobson. Forward, bro. Damn it.
Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna end this episode here. And we just fell to four points off a of playoffs with that lost. It was a stinker. To the inbox. Damn it. Okay, let's uh man up with the uh with the press conference and then we'll end this episode here. We lost all our matches today. Once again, Lego has ruined your day. <laughs> we deserve better than this. I don't want to talk about that shit, bro. Your players have a really forgot the moment. It's been a long time since they failed. You must be confident. Jack Stevens. Well, I don't care about Jack Stevens, dude. There are rumors that you were still in the market for another player. I don't want to discuss that. I know, same old shit. Uh, recent reports have linked you for the move. No. That's what I'd like to play. Oh my gosh, man. And the Borum would the Borum loss has devastated us. We've we've given up six goals in the last two games. Incredible. So we fall into tenth. Solid home moors, they're gonna win the title. But uh yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Uh that's gonna be it for this episode. Very frustrating. Couldn't win any matches today. Just absolutely disgraceful. I, I was feeling really encouraged after the last episode. But if you really love the show, love what I'm doing out here, uh, you can donate to my Cash App. My Cash App is Cash, uh, excuse me, Dollar Sign Veterans Gaming 24. You can follow me on Twitter. My uh Twitter handle or X, excuse me, is at smoothop 75 If you want to follow me on um excuse me on uh losing my train of thought here on youtube and on twitch just type in uh, lowercase uh, veterans gaming podcast so until next time this is kevin and this has been the veterans gaming podcast